Welcome to the latest. My name is Glenn Massad, your host, and we are excited today to be talking with Clea Corman from Camp Massawippi. She's the new executive director as of this summer, 2021, and we're looking forward to talking with her today and, and learning more about Camp Massawippi. Maybe, Clea, we can uh, hear a little bit about yourself and then we get into Camp Massawippi. I just wanted to say thank you for having me, Glenn, and it's uh, great to be part of this episode uh, from Habilitas. Um, so my name, as I said, is Clay Corman. I'm the Executive Director of the Directors and the Directors of the commencé en mai Directors of the Directors of the Directors of the Directors de the Directors So I'm from the Eastern Townships originally, from uh, just outside of Eritus. I've been working in um, the community and education sectors for the last five years, uh, working primarily in educational and career uh, dropout uh, organizations and mandates with high school students and with vulnerable elementary school students as well. Um, I've been in the area for a while. I love Eastern Townships, and uh, it's a uh, I'm I'm quite proud to now be part of an organization with such a great great mandate um, in the beautiful Eastern Townships on the lake, uh, and it's. It's, uh, it's great to be here today. We're so happy to have you and we're looking forward to hearing more. The Habilitas Foundation, as you know, has been a partner with Kent Massawippi for years. Even before we were called Habilitas, uh, we have been um, a partner of yours and we couldn't be prouder of how the camp has developed and uh, how it offers such services to uh, young people with uh, physical disabilities and their families. So maybe if you could give us a little bit of background on Camp Massawippi in case some of our viewers don't know what it is. Absolutely. Um, le camp a été fondé en 1951 et depuis le début, on a, on a, off, on a offert des, des services pour des personnes avec des déficiences physiques principalement. So we provide uh, activities, services, camps uh, to youth with physical challenges, primarily motor, auditory, and visual. Um, so right from the beginning, that has been the core of what um, Camp Massacre has stood for, inclusivity, inclusivity uh, adapting every activity to the uh, capabilities of each camper. Um, that's really what we specialize in. And, and uh, we also have um, uh, a foothold in Montreal as well, affiliated with the Mackay Center. Uh, we have our day camp that uh, provides uh, respite during the summer months for families with uh, kids with multiple handicaps. So, well, on a aussi un, un camp jour à Montréal pour les polyhandicapés. Alors, on a un équipe dévouée uh, installée à Montréal aussi. Um, so, we have a, a mix of, like I said, of day camp, overnight camps, and also respite camps throughout the, the school year. Um, so, we really try to offer as much as we can to, to families uh, with, uh, with, with kids with physical disabilities. Wow, it's, that's a really, it's a full, it's a full service situation and they get to experience camp in a way that they would not necessarily otherwise have access to. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So Camp Mass would be, um, you know, we, we try to eliminate any barriers that may stand in the way of, of kids just being able to be kids essentially. So, you know, our society is kind of structured in a way that people with physical um, impairments, it, there are barriers on a day-to-day -day basis. So when they're at camp, every everything is is adapted to them, so that they can really have uh, the same experience that any other kid or young adult would have if they went to to a to a camp or to an overnight stay. Um, so right from from the, where they uh, stay in their cabins to to our our dining hall facilities um, to our activities, we have an adapted waterfront to offer. Uh, everything that they they could potentially um look forward to it as a as a summer camp and also throughout the the year um so that's that's really what we we aim to do is kind of bring bring the magic uh to to the to the kids that's beautiful so you have the summer camp and you have the day camp and uh in 2020 obviously things uh everybody was taken by surprise and i understand that the camp was on a pause in other words operationally the the sites were not open given given the pandemic situation. But how did you maintain or did you maintain continuity during that time? Can you explain how you how you adapted and how you got through it? 
Oui, on, euh, pour l'été 2020, on a dû euh, fermer pour l'été euh, à cause de, de la pandémie, comme beaucoup d'autres camps. Euh, par contre, ça nous donnait euh, une chance de, de, de changer nos offres de services. Alors, on a adapté, puis on a créé un, un camp virtuel pour amener la, la magie du camp directement à nos, nos campeurs dans leur maison. So for for 2020, we really give us an opportunity to change and grow once again, um, and to you know open a, a new chapter in in Camp Mesopi's long uh, standing history. Um, and so we were able to uh, create a virtual camp um, that's been success, extremely successful during the last year. We've maintained it during the summer months as well for those that didn't feel. Um, like they could come to camp given the, the current context of, of the pandemic. So we were still able to offer, um, you know, camp themed activities in a virtual setting to our campers. Uh, and they were very much appreciated. It also created a sense of community for, for a lot of our campers. Beaucoup de nos jeunes qui viennent au camp, ils peuvent commencer à l'âge de 8 ans, puis ils peuvent continuer jusqu'à 30 ans et plus. Alors, ça veut dire qu'il y a des campeurs qui sont avec le camp Massoupi pendant une vingtaine d'années et reviennent d'année en année. Alors, ils voient les mêmes amis de chaque, uh, chaque année aussi. So there's already kind of a sense of community that's created around Camp Massoupi. So we wanted to create that same type of um, rapport, but on a virtual front. And we, we were able to do that. So that was, that was, really, um, that was really great. It is great because I, I know that uh, in, all, in companies and other organizations uh, like Camp Massoupi, it's the virtual has is, has become part of our reality. It's sort of the new normal and everybody gets to have that at least as the, the bedrock of communication. They can stay connected no matter what's going on in the, in the outside world. And then if we're, if we're able to be together physically, then that's a bonus as well. So that's, it's, it's wonderful. And so 20, so this year, not 2020, but 2021. So this summer was the first, first summer back. How did that go? How was the, like, Talk, talk us through the moment of like when when the when everybody arrived on the first day and so on. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a momentous uh, occasion and um, a lot of decisions and a lot of uh, prep work went into um, opening our doors this year. Uh, you know, we're not out of the pandemic yet, but we knew that we needed to adapt and create um, create an offering for for our our, our population and, and our campers. Um, you know, closing one summer was was enough. <laughs> so we really wanted to make sure we opened so that we could have people back on site um, in Airscliff and uh, and Montreal as well. Um, and I, I have to say that our staff were just incredible. We, um, you know, given the fact that m many of our campers have very complex health issues as well as physical impairments, we really wanted to make sure that if we were to open, that we would be able to open in, in the safest, uh, environment that we could possibly create. Um, so we were, we put in place some really strict um, uh, COVID uh, protocols and measures uh, to protect our staff and also to protect our, our campers. Um, some of our campers also couldn't wear masks. So that, that added kind of another layer layer of um, uh, to overcome, but uh, we rose <laughs> to the occasion and rose to the challenge. Um, we had two very successful summer camps, one in Montreal, one in, in Ars Cliff, with not a single COVID case. Um, and uh, our, our staff and our campers were so happy to be back on site and back in kind of the, well, quote unquote, normal swing of things. It was definitely a, a different summer than, than we usually have. We had to reduce the, our capacity uh, significantly, but our campers, um, it was amazing having them back on site. You know, we had campers arriving on the first day saying that that they had so, so missed it uh, last year and, and you know, they could, you know, live on Camp Mass with me and visit their parents on the weekends if they could, so they would do that. Um, and it was also just a great reunion all around campers seeing each other for the first time in a year, staff seeing campers um they hadn't seen in a, in, in a year as well so um it was quite it was quite the, the moving experience and um you know get, even despite the fact that we had to have you know uh staff wearing masks and extra ppe uh, on a continuous basis um and we were limited in some of the activities that we were able to offer 
you know, we still had campers saying, oh, do you have any more spots uh, next week? Can I can I register for another week last minute? So um, I think that that speaks volumes. And and um, and for the parents as well, I think they were very appreciative of the fact that we did open. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it was a great it was a great summer. That's wonderful. Were there any moments I was going to ask you about the parents, but you covered it, but how, were, how did the staff fare? Were they, what was their, their mood going in? Were they nervous because it was the first summer back or how did that go? Yeah, great question. Um, alors, nos staff uh, sont une équipe très, très, très dévouée. Il uh, y avait un, 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 quand même une grande groupe cette année que c'était la première année au camp. On avait des, des gens qui sont souvent revenus d'année en année, mais on, a, on avait quand même un, un, un groupe de nouveaux employés. Alors, euh, ils ont un, 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 un training, un, une formation de 70 heures avant qu'ils commencent, euh, avant que les campeurs arrivent. Alors, um, with that training in place, we were able to um, really make sure that our staff were ready to welcome our, our campers. And this year, we offered a one-to-one -one ratio. So every camper had a staff um, just to be able to properly execute all of our extra protocols. You know, COVID protocols are, are difficult in the best of times, but putting it in a camp setting is a whole other ball game. Um, so our staff were, again, were super, super dedicated They love uh, working with our, our campers, and um, we actually asked them to stay on site for several weeks at a time to limit the the amount of exposure um, to the kind of the outside world. So we had created kind of a uh, a mini a mini closed community, if if you will, on site at camp, which was an extremely um, uh, it was a it was it worked it worked as a solution because we had no COVID cases. So. Um, Our staff, again, they're really happy to see campers and, and they're also very motivated to come back um, and uh, and continue with us throughout the school year for some of our special activities and, and for next year as well. So, so it, was, it was a difficult year for sure. Um, lots of learning moments for staff, uh, but uh, but uh, we had we had a good group this year for sure. That's wonderful. Are there, is there, any, are there any highlights that stick out over the summer in terms of special moments that you remember that you want to share with us? Yeah, I would say, I mean, I, we had um, in, in the Eris Cliff camp, we had six sessions of six days each. So the first day, the arrival day, I think sticks out in everyone, in everyone's mind, uh, just because with a new batch of campers, uh, you get to talk to families, you got, you get to meet new, new campers or returning campers that, that are back for, for the first time after a year. Um, so I think those those are the moments that, that stick out to me is is seeing seeing my my staff at at, at work um, you know welcoming our campers making them feel at home laughing with them um, and the parents you know uh, chatting with us about about what they've experienced over the last years as well um, and I think the same thing goes for for day camp you know uh, when when they drop actually I would say the reverse when they pick up their kids at the end of the day day camp. Um, you know, just seeing the parents interact with the kids and seeing how their day went and see what they did at camp and, and our, our staff chatting with parents as well, you know, um, telling them how it went. Um, those, are the, those are the moments that, from, from my perspective anyways that, that stick out to me. And I think that also we had some pretty fun uh, extra activities that were added uh, for, our, for example, their, our um, overnight camp in Air's Cliff. We had a collaboration with the Adapted Sailing Um, organization based out of Point Claire. So they came up uh, a couple of times throughout the summer um, with their specialized staff and we have adapted sailboats on site. So we were able to take campers out for, for sailboat rides in, in the lake, uh, in the bay, which was really uh, quite a highlight for, for some of our campers, um, as well as taking pontoon rides uh, with staff and campers uh, getting out on the lake um, kind of allowed them to, you know, kind of leave the pandemic behind a little bit, uh, change the scenery. Um, and, uh, and I think for the, the, the over, um, the day camp in Montreal, I think just seeing, seeing the staff adapt all of the activities to each of very specific needs of, of individuals with multiple um, physical impairments. So, you know, watching staff uh, play an adapted version of basketball with, with campers who are in wheelchairs and are very uh, low mobility. I think that's, uh, that definitely sticks out as well. 
do, does the day camp in Montreal, excuse my ignorance, but does it have similar activities in the sense that, for example, at a summer camp, you would have, um, uh, in other words, I'm, uh, basically I have s'mores on my, on my mind. Is there any kind of tie-in, <laughs> is there any kind of tie-in where they create in the Montreal camp some sort of flavor of a, of a summer camp that's an outdoor camp, if you know what I mean? Is there any, anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, I would say um, in regular time, not in pandemic time, right. the, the the most common or the uh, yeah the most common factor would be the the swimming element. Okay. Um, this year we had to we had to close the swimming pool for for the day camp in Montreal. But usually swimming they have an indoor pool at the day camp in Montreal, and also of course swimming at the at the lake. So there's that element, and I think also the the element of um, you know when when kids arrive at the Air's Cliff camp, they have mm -hmm. an assigned cabin, uh, assigned staff and campers that they do group activities with. Uh, they usually come up with a fun group name, uh, sometimes a, a group motto or a theme song. Um, and I think they do the same thing as well as uh, at the day camp in, in Montreal. They have a, they have their own kind of unique little mini identity within the group. Um, so that's kind of, I, I don't know, I don't think we do s'mores inside maybe over a toaster, but, uh, um, I knew, I knew it was a public safety. Party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a bit of a public safety hazard. Let me put clay but, on um, the spot. So there's no bonfire in Montreal. Is that what you're saying? Okay. No, no, but no, no, um, no. 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 but no, but on fait des activités, uh, the arts and crafts, uh, um, music based activities at both places. So there's a lot of similarities. And I think, um, ça donne souvent une chance aux parents, uh, d'essayer le, le, le concept d'envoyer de, leur, leur enfant à un, à un camp, c'est être quelque part d'autre que chez, chez eux. Euh, puis là, si ça, si ça va bien au, au camp jour, ils nous connaissent, ils, ils, connaissent que, ils savent que nos, nos staff ont un, 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 une formation très similaire. Puis là, des fois, ils, ils sont ils sont corrects avec le, le camp jour, ils, ils envoient leur enfant pour euh, faire une durée plus, euh, plus longue et uh, de nuit aussi, au camp, jo uh, au camp de, de vacances. So, there's a bit of a crossover between the two, for, for, for sure. Um, and I would say also another fantastic highlight, of course, that we uh, were very proud to welcome uh, former United States President uh, Bill Clinton and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to our camp uh, in Ayers Cliff on the very, very, very last day of, of camp. Um, that was a, quite a surprise to, to many of our campers and staff. We welcomed them. They arrived by boat, um, wow. and our whole camp welcomed them on our, our on our waterfront uh, on our beach. And and they spent about an hour with us, uh, chatting with campers, taking photos. We had uh, we had a camper who recited the whole list of um, American presidents in order to to Bill Clinton. Um, wow. I had a very long chat with him. So. It was uh, definitely a memorable experience and um, one that we will not forget anytime soon. That's great. That's a really great moment. Nice topper offer over the summer. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Maintenant que l'été est presque terminé pour les campeurs, est-ce que allez-vous faire d'autres choses pendant l'année? Uh, what's on tap for the rest of the year or throughout the, the other seasons, the coming seasons? Yep, uh, good question. Um, alors, pour l'année scolaire, eh ben, pour l'été, notre saison est officiellement finie. On, on a fini notre camp jour euh, l'année, euh, la semaine prochaine. Euh, passé, désolé. Um, pour l'année la, scolaire, on veut continuer d'offrir des services euh, pour nos familles et no, nos campeurs. Um, on va offrir des, des, des services de répit, dans le fond. Alors, ça va être des, comme des mini-camps de, de, de fin de semaine. On va les offrir à peu près un fois par mois, puis euh, un, une semaine au complet euh, pour le, le euh, en mars. And so March break, we're going to be offering a full respite camp as well as a uh, once a month respite uh, mini weekend camp for for families. Um, so it's an opportunity for again for for people maybe who have not um, tried staying the full week or the full several weeks during the uh, summer to test out what it would be like to do just a weekend at a camp in Earth Cliff. Um, it also provides a little bit of a break for, for families um, uh, and an opportunity for, for the campers to have a bit of independence from, from their parents as well. So we'll be offering that uh, throughout, the, throughout the school year, which we're really excited about. Um, you know, kind of just reinforcing that Camp Massapi 
uh, you know, we're, we're best known for our summer camp, but um, we, we were there throughout the school year as well. Um, and we'll be continuing our virtual camp uh, services uh, uh, in addition to that. That's impressive. It's an impressive because it's, you're right. It's, it's more than a summer camp and it's the fact that it's 12 months of the year really is a nice, uh, more than nice. It's, it's a impactful for the campers and for their families to maintain that continuity. There's good work. Beautiful. Um, in terms of the donors that, that watch our, our little internet show, we always like to let them know because when they learn about Camp Massawippi or they hear more about it because they knew about it uh, to some degree, is there, are there things coming up uh, if, if, if a donor wants to get involved or either participate as a donor or in general, are there things coming up on your calendar that, that we, can, we can all tune in, uh, tune in for? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say uh, if you want to keep up up to date with uh, with Camp Mass would be news, I think for sure. Uh, t- take a look at our Facebook page or our Instagram account. There's some good uh, good photos and and good stories that go up on a regular basis. And um, apart from offering respite weekends, which we're very excited about, um, we're also currently. Uh, our dining hall, our, our, our heart of our, of our camp um, is going undergoing a huge renovation. So it's a $1.8 million uh, renovation project. Um, and it's going to be turning the kitchen area into an adaptive kitchen. So which will allow our, our campers and uh, individuals with uh, physical impairments to help with the cooking process, learn uh, essential skills, and also just just have fun potentially baking some muffins with us. Um, so there's that element and also the whole reconstruction of the um, eating area, the dining hall portion, um, as well as uh, redoing the, we'll have a, a beautiful uh, balcony on the front overlooking the lake wide enough for, for wheelchairs to, to come and go, um, fully accessible bathrooms as well. So this is a cool project en plus de nos, nos programmations de ce régulière, um, c'est notre, notre rénovation de notre, uh, notre cafétéria, notre dining hall. Uh, puis c'est, c'est un gros, gros, gros projet. C'était un, un des plus uh, vieux édifices uh, sur le terrain. Alors, uh, il, a, il a besoin de beaucoup d'amour. Um, alors, c'est un peu 1,8 million que, qu'on on, on a besoin pour le refaire. Et il nous reste à peu près 600 mille euh, euh, pour, euh, pour accomplir ce, ce, ce euh, 1.8. So we're still missing about 600,000. So, um, and that 600,000, of course, will allow us to really make sure that we um, renovate to the full, full potential of, that, of the of thing, and which will also allow um, other community organizations to uh, use our site more year round, uh, other similar organizations with, um, with mandates for phys- with people with physical impairments. Um, there's not very many sites in the Eastern Township specifically uh, that have such like a high level of adapted um, services and, and buildings and infrastructure. Um, so we're, we're really looking forward to sharing our site to, uh, more once, once that dining hall is complete. So um, any assistance on that front would be more, more than welcome. Um, and of course, if, that, if any, any of our donors or anyone who sees this is in the Eastern Townships and is, happen, happens to come by Earth Cliff, we'd be happy to, to give you a little tour of our, of our beautiful site. It's hard to, sometimes it's hard to imagine what Camp Massif is until you, you stop by and, and, um, and see for yourself. Um, we're also doing, for the first time, a charity golf tournament in, in collaboration with Habilitas uh, in the Eastern Townships at Deferent Heights Golf Club. Um, just about 10, 15 minutes away from Earth Cliff, our site in, uh, in, in the townships. And um, that'll be a really exciting opportunity to um, have people talking about Camp Mississippi, understanding what we do, uh, meeting some of our staff and campers on site that day, and also just playing some great golf. I believe it's on October 2nd, the golf tournament. Oui, c'est ça. At, uh, le tournoi est le 2 octobre, octobre. Uh, à Dufferin Heights. Dufferin Heights. Et, et puis, uh, on a plusieurs uh, opportunités de, 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 de commenter tout aussi pour ceux qui veulent uh, s'impliquer de cette façon-là aussi. Okay, so many opportunities to either sponsor, be it mm-hmm. as a donor or a golfer, or could come. Yeah. I, I understand there's a barbecue at four o'clock, so you can, they can also come to see that too. They're, they're promising. They're promising. Delicious food. <laughs> 
That's what I hear. And apparently Virgo from the camp is having a whole cookie station, I heard. Yeah, which is exactly. very important, very important. And uh, apparently as well, they've promised that the leaves will start changing. It's hard to believe it's not too long away, but the leaves will be yeah. changing. So apparently it's beautiful. I've been to the, that golf course once and it's a beautiful space. Beautiful location. Yeah, Dufferin is, is, a, is a beautiful location and it's uh, it's quite representative of, of what the Eastern Township is. And, and uh, we're hoping to see a, a great mix of uh, Montreal-based um, for sons and also Eastern Townships uh, representation as well. So it'll be, it'll be a, a great event. That's great. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, I think it's going to be great as well. Is there anything that you'd like to uh, tell our viewers that they might not know about Camp Masuopi and just in general? Um, <clears throat> I think that, uh, I mean, I've, I've spoken quite, quite at length. I would say that if anyone ever has questions or they want to reach out to us uh, in any way, please take a look at our website. Feel free to reach out to, to me personally. Uh, I'm always open to new ideas. Um, and so if anyone ever wants to reach out to me, they can. It's Clea, C-L-E-A, at campsop.com. Um, or you can take a look at, like, like I said, at our website, our phone number is there as well. Um, and I would say, uh, you know, what we try to do at camp is, is again, remove any barriers that may impede um, a youth with physical impairments from enjoying a camp experience or the outdoors or sports or acquiring some basic life skills like cooking. Um, and so we try, like I said, we try to remove any of those barriers and uh, any help with that aspect would be more than welcome. Understood. And, and thank you very much for your time today. We're on behalf of the Habilitas Foundation, we're thrilled and, and, and proud to be a supporter of Camp Massawippi. As Clay has said, if you want to know more about Camp Massawippi, go to campmassawippi.com. And to support Camp Massawippi, you can go to campmassawippi.com or habilitas.ca. As their, as their foundation, we are proud to partner with them. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either one of us. And we thank you again for uh, j tuning in today for this uh, episode. I think we're at episode five today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Merci beaucoup pour votre soutien.